Let us try to design an LPF filter for the desired frequency HD of e to the power j omega is equal to e to the power minus 3j omega for all the values of omega between 0 to pi by 2 and it is 0 for pi by 2 omega pi. We are supposed to find out h of n using frequency sampling technique for n equal to 7. So this we have taken it as m. Also we need to find out h of omega and we need to draw the structure for this. So let us try to draw the magnitude plot of desired frequency response. zero to pi by two since there should be a symmetry i get this as minus pi by two now for omega k is equal to two pi by seven into k for all the values of k varying from zero one two three four five 6. When the k value is equal to 0, you omega 0, omega k is equal to 0. When k value is 1, it is 51.42. When k value is minus 1, it is 51.42. And k value is equal to 2. It is 102.85. When k value is minus 2, it is 102.85. When k value is equal to 3, it is 154.26. It is minus 154.26. So, we can define this as magnitude hd of k is equal to 1. Let us try to find out for what are the values. So one point is here when uh, omega equal to 0. Next one what we get here the sample is at 51.42 minus means it is minus 51.42. This is 102. And lastly we have 154 and here we have 102 and 154. So we have here HD of K is also equal to the magnitude H of K in case of frequency sampling method is equal to 1. For all the values of K if I take it this is 0, 1. 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. K value is minus 1, 0, 1. Or I can define it as 0, 1 and M minus 1 that is 6. Therefore, I can write this as H of K is equal to 1 e to the power minus j omega k m minus 1 by 7 by 2. 
So I get this as e to the power minus j 2 pi by 7 into 3. That gives me into k. So that gives me e to the power minus j 6 pi by 7 k. Now I can write this as h of 0 is 1. H of 1 is e to the power minus j 6 pi by 7. H of 2 is given by h of 2 is not required. H of 6 is given by e to the power minus j. It is 36 pi by 7. Using these h of k values, we can use inverse DFT, IDFT and we can find out h of n. 1 over 7 summation n k value varying from 0 to 6 h of k e to the power j 2 pi by 7 k n. We can substitute different values of h, h of 0, h of 1, h of 2 and we can get or else. We can make use of the formula 1 over m h of 0 plus 2 times k value varying from 1 m minus 1 by 2 real part of h of k e to the power j 2 pi by m k n for m odd and it is equal to 1 over m h of 0 2 times k value varying from 1 m by 2 minus 1 real part of h of k e to the power j 2 pi by m k n. For this particular problem since this is valid for m equal to e1. In this problem m equal to 7 which is a odd number. So I can write it as 1 over 7 h of 0 plus 2 times k value varying from 1 m minus 1 by 2 that is k value varying from 1 to 3 cos of 2 pi by 7 n minus 3. How did I get this? This I have got here. See, if I take h of 1, if suppose if I take this as h of 1, then I have the value as e to the power minus j 6 pi by 7 multiplied by the term this term so this term is going to be e to the power j 2 pi by 7 n when i simplify this i get this as e to the power j 2 pi by 7 it is n minus 3 and the real value of this is going to be cosine term. So I get this as cos of 2 pi by 7 n minus 3. I have h of 0 then I have h of 1 
within the limit k value varying from 1 to 3. So therefore I have got this. Substituting the values, I get the values as h of 0 minus 0 0.11454 and h of 1 is equal to 0 0.07928 h of 2 is equal to 0 0.3209 and h of 3 is 0.4285 then h of 4 is equal to 0.3209 h of 5 is equal to 0 0.0728 then h of 6 is equal to minus 0 0.11454 now we, we had to draw the structure before we draw the structure let us try to find the frequency response. It is h of omega is equal to n value varying from 0 to 6. h of n e to the power minus j omega n. So you can get by using this formula. This is nothing but h of 0, h of 1 e to the power minus j omega, h of 2 e to the power minus 2j omega, h of 3 e to the power minus 3j omega plus h of 4 e to the power minus 4j omega h of 5 e to the power minus 6j omega, h of 6 e to the power minus, sorry this is 5, 6j omega. We also know h of 0, this is h of 1 e to the power minus j omega h of 2 e to the power minus 2j omega, h of 3 e to the power minus 3j omega, whereas if you look at here h of 4 is same as h of 2. So I can write this as h of 2 e to the power minus 4j omega. Then we have if you look at h of 5, it is same as h of 1. So, I can write this as h of 1 e to the power minus 5j omega plus h of 6 is same as h of 0. So, I can write it as h of 0 minus 6j omega. Now, I can group h of 0 plus h of 1 e to the power minus j omega plus e to the power minus 4j omega h of 2 it is e to the power minus 2j omega h of 1 it is 5 it is e to the power minus 4j omega h of 0 is 1 plus e to the power minus 6j omega. So, this term I can remove here. If you want, you can further simplify this by converting this into sign term or you can leave it here by substituting the different values of h. Coming to the structure, we will write the single pole structure. Single pole structure is given by h1 of z 
H1 of Z is nothing but it is Z to the power minus 7 and this is 1 by 7. This is X of Z. Then we have if we know that h of z is equal to h1 of z into h2 of z. This is a formula we have. We have to realize this. Now h1 of z is given here. Now we have to realize this h2 of z. h2 of z is here. h of 0 gain is h of 0 z minus 1 then the next term is going to be z minus 1 it is e to the power j 2 pi by 7 z to the power minus 1, you have e to the power j 12 pi by 7 multiplied by h of 6. This is h of 1. Now when it goes, it goes here. From here it goes. Output is going to be y of z. This is the answer. How did you get this? It is h of h2 of z. I am writing h2 of z is h of 0, 1 minus z minus 1. h of 1 is 1 minus e to the power j 2 pi by 7 z minus 1. H of 6. It is 1 minus e to the power j 12 pi by 7 z to the power minus 1. This has to be your single pole structure. Please try for double pole structure.